Hey everybody, just missed the fireworks. Welcome to part two. There, there, there will definitely be more fireworks, you know, free, Freedom Day. This is the day I predicted that uh, protesters go off, you know. But, you, well, I, you know, this is just... Uh, now it seems like more so people are being like, no, fuck, fuck uh, the 4th of July, fuck Independence Day. You know, like we're not celebrating or anything, which I'm fine with not celebrating, but I think if you're protesting more as like a symbol, but like we stand with freedom, we're firing the fireworks because we stand with freedom, not you guys. That's what I think, but if that's not the general consensus, if that's not what the what the collective mind of the movement says, then you know who am I to argue with? Uh, it? Say it for the movement. The movement doesn't have would, a voice. Would, you do. True. I de I definitely would be if I was like a leader of the movement. I definitely would be like, yo, stockpile some fireworks. We finna put our own fireworks show for these cucks. You know, like, <laughs> like let we finna let freedom ring all night long. <laughs> Like, you know, we, we finna pop bottles, we like, cause we stand freedom, we on the right side of history. Pop ball, let these fireworks go off, you know, we, we finna be about about it. We got Adelaide, Australia. What a huge turnout for, I guess, this? Protests? Uh, you got Aurora, Colorado. What a good turnout there at the police station. I saw that, we saw that earlier. Uh, and it's dark, a little darker now. Uh, you got the Houston going on. It's still H Town. H Town showing up. Sean Watson probably out there somewhere. He a real <laughs> one. Um, you know, learn, learn me Tonsil probably out there too. Got a chop camp info pig. Uh, <laughs> uh, earlier today in Seattle, Seattle, Louisville, Aurora. Louisville. Okay. <laughs> and as you see, they are doing smaller and smaller <laughs> boxes now on. The streaming, and I like it. I don't know. I think trying, they updated like more. the program they use, like maybe universally because like Jake the Snake Ove on YouTube is use, is doing multi boxes now, and so is woke. M and I've maybe. seen other people uh, with that I, UI. I mean, there. but you know, it, they probably did. And honestly, when they saw it, there that there's whatever the program they're using was getting used more often. Like, yo, we gotta make this more interactive, more user friendly. You know, I definitely see that as a thing. It up, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying the quality of life changes. Where's Kyleen, Texas? Kyleen? That's yeah. next to Fort Hood. It's close to Fort Hood. Okay, yeah, there's, there's a stream coming from there. Uh, I knew was, that's probably why, because of Vanessa. Yeah, yeah. We we just got a a new a new dude coming to my shop, and from, he said he's from Colleen, Texas. <laughs> I don't really know him too well though. He he a black dude too, so that's the worst kind of dude. I don't know, man. He, no, I don't know. My 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 first impression, real <laughs> shit. My first impressions, I was like, he, he seemed kind of soft. Whoa, he seemed like too cold. But no, no apparently my first impression on everyone is like I seem like a. Like a fucking thug to them. That's the you way know? you present yourself, I guess. You the opposite. I myself oh, that, oh, that as a thug, cause like I like anime. You know, yeah. I'm all about art and shit. And like, I want to come. I want to be a game designer. I used to want to be a football player until my knee ripped itself apart. But you know, I'm I'm big about just being a good dad for my son. But apparently, people think I'm threatened. You know, it's so weird. <laughs> Right wingers that were protesting in potentially Riverdale, California, waving their thin blue line. And shit. There's all these people in black. Are they the Antifa? Man, you ain't got me answer. I wear all black everywhere I go anyway. I wear a lot of dark tone colors. Oh. You emo kind of dude, eh? I guess, but I don't think I am. I think I just, I think I just, I just know I look good in black, man. Yeah, you know who else thinks they look good in black? Ninjas. What? Ninjas. Ninjalino. Ninjalino. <laughs> I knew you was going to go there with that. I mean, I don't know, man. It was, I, I tried wearing color, but 
I mean, I look good in it, but I just prefer, you know, the dark colors. You know? Black is a very slimming color. Yeah, you, 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 you leave a black bandana at the crime scene so they think it's black hole related. <laughs> oh, damn, the There's black so hole much. sucked him up. Dang it. They got him. Shot the bullet out of a black hole. The black hole dipped. <laughs> Put it, put it through a wormhole, you know, <laughs> you're doing some fucking super, that's not superpowers, open up wormholes to different places. <laughs> Yo, what are you the- know, they, when, making a, when making a video game characters, I thought about that being somebody's power, like, you know, they, they open up just wormholes to be able to teleport shit, and that's, and they gotta get creative with it night to make crawler? it useful. Portal? So, no, Both no, those combined. Can, can, can night, more so like Portal. And, uh, there is some- But I want to, I want to come at a cost to the user, you know? Somebody in the- Somebody else does that. Who's the person that they do that in, uh, was it Psy not Psylocke or whoever? There's somebody in X-Men that has that ability. I definitely not Psylocke. I don't they know. They throw portals. It was one of the newer shit. They throw portal, portal. Isn't the, X the one where they, it's that one where they lose and they're under attack and they're working together, Magneto and uh, Xavier, and they're buying time and that one. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to. You're a fake Marvel guy. Um, I mean, I know Doctor Strange be doing that kind of shit, but I want it to come at a cost, to, like to the user. You know? I, we can discuss it later, yeah, whenever, we whenever we're not talking about uh, <laughs> serious shit. You know, this, this is if the if the country pulls itself together, <laughs> you know, then then I'll grace them with my video games. But until then, then I get shit from you. Like I swear, if I gotta become a politician just to fix this shit myself, I'm gonna be the most pissed off motherfucker in the building every time I go to work. That's gonna be my my shtick. It's like I'd be in my office designing video games if you fucks weren't so damn corrupt. <laughs> That's gonna be my opening statement every time I I walk into a building. It's like, oh, how you doing? You know, Congressman or Senator Coleman or Governor Coleman. It's like, I, I'd be fine if I if I was sitting in an office making video games, but no, I had to come fix you you assholes up. They got somebody streaming in Portland earlier. The count is six six six. Hot dog six 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 six. Six sixes, but it's also hot dog. Um, them long hot dogs. They had a big turnout in Seattle earlier. Deep. <clears throat> oh, Brisbane's Brisbane, Australia. I think I don't know if it's Brisbane or Brisbane. I don't remember. Yeah, watch them NBA Australia. Uh, they're having a big protest there too, and there was another one in Australia. I said earlier, like wow, they show out hard in in Australia. They need to be free Hong Kong in though too. <laughs> Apparently in Australia, like the pre Hong Kong, the the indigenous people of Australia, like the, whatever they've been going through, is pretty fucking gnarly. Like, obviously, I didn't know anything about that. I'm mm -hmm. not from Australia. I don't. I don't know shit about Australia, but I've seen you know, NBA more Australia. shit about. No, I see more shit about of uh, how the indigenous people of Australia, Australia are treated and, and how bad it is for for them there. So I I thought that was pretty interesting. True. They got pizza and see. Oh no, somebody's thinking. Domino's? I don't know if they have pizza. Feed, feed the rebels? There is pizza in all Aurora. Confirmed. Two doggers. Not looking to invite a ton of people. Sorry if that disappoints anybody. Um, you know, we're gonna keep it 50 or less uh, people. Um, you know, closer family and friends. Just not into the whole big, big wedding thing. Uh, also, as m many of you probably know, weddings are fucking expensive, especially the catering. Man, mm. had to mute that guy. <laughs> thinking uh, about telling anyways. people to BYO. Let's see here. I'm sending out a flag there. You would think 50 is a lot, but lo <laughs> Lee's presence is completely gone as far as I can tell. 
If you think I'm dying get scared, I'm like, oh my gosh, someone just got shot. Whoa. What happened? No, just in Portland, every now and then, uh, you know, a fucking firework goes off. And, but I don't see it, like, I don't see no sitting all here's a big ass explosion, and then, and then in the split second before I look at the screen, I'm thinking someone got shot. Whoa, she said follow the lead of the folks that are in all black. Antifa. Antifa. You trust the Antifas? Man, anyone that's willing to fucking tear down a city <laughs> because they keep oppressing people, I'm, I think, yeah, I think I'm with it. Hey, the, the, you know, it ain't their fault. They they feel like they got a riot to be heard. That's all I'm going to say about <laughs> it. Are they coming in with these fucking LED bikes? Is that the new thing? To get your bike with LEDs know. On, on the wheels? Damn. I don't know, man. So you getting noticed more? They flexing, bro. I ain't got that. Got, I see this dude in Portland, Oregon. There, no, how he's talking. It's like he's getting interviewed a little bit. But talking like, shit. Look, my look, he's fucking camoed out, kitted out. Uh, I don't see no rank on him or nothing. So he might be a cop, but not national, not no military affiliate. Oh, I see. Yeah, probably propagandist. His military rank is propaganda. <laughs> It's funny, it's funny, that's what the public relations dudes are. They, 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 that's the one thing I was told. Is that a sword? Was like, ever... What is that? Where? <laughs> on his right, or under his right arm. I don't, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I doubt it's a sword. Oh, he's there, he's talking now. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just being objective here. You, it's pretty, you can't not know that dressing like that and coming to this is going to grab some attention. So why can you just shout out to the internet? And oh, this is a fuckboy. Yeah, it's just some random dude. I'm just, I've seen what happened down here. If he was, yeah. if he was strapped, he'd be, he'd be considered a boog, you know? <laughs> I can't hear what he's saying, you know? Ooh, explosions. Well, I, I agree with you, that does happen. That does happen at these protests. But, I'm, I'm curious as the thinking that, uh, if, if you think that people target people that are different, why you would go... I'm, I, I feel like I'm coming <laughs> off putting you on the defense, and I don't want to know. I don't want to do that. My point is, I try to get people to uh, talk from different sides of the spectrum. Obviously, if I were to, if I were to give you some labels, home, I, don't, right? I don't like you in that very much. But uh, I would, I would describe you as kind of far right. Yeah. Whoa! You're showing up. He's not huh? far right. No? Yeah. Is what, that a sword? What? Okay. I don't know can, what it is. Just give us a real talk. Why, why you come dressing up like GI like Joe to the to the protest? Like GI Joe. <laughs> and I'm, you got your right to do that, but uh, you got to know that like, you got oh, a, a baton, baton there with, with a spike on the end. You know? What the hell? I'll be back. I get this pizza, out, but you're alive. All right, uh, all right. The two colds. The coldest. What color are we in the military? Uh, it's probably a military thing. I'm supposed this... to know. I'm guessing no color. This interview is okay. kind of weird. I wish I wish you could hear the other guy more. Here's my two cents on it. Uh, whether this guy, whatever he says or not, here's my opinion. You come to a to a peaceful protest with a fucking baton, with a spot, with a weapon. I just call it with a weapon. And you come out kitted out like that, like you, you know, it comes off like you're looking for something to happen. He says it's because he doesn't want to get targeted, but it's that whole thing of you making yourself stand out even more. I don't know. Let's keep listening to the interview. Very weird. Well, I'll say. I get, I get the good mindset. You know, the good because I, I definitely, because you know, <laughs> if he wants to wear armor and shit, they're, they're clearly hell. You can look at up in Eric Johnson's uh thing in the top left. If Aaron has this the woke stream up, you can definitely see that uh 
you know, people wearing like construction hats, you know, they, they look like normal everyday citizens who are coming out to just protest, you know, that this is just what they do. Like they just, they just were scrounging around the house, and like, hey, I'm not trying to make sure I don't get hit in the head with some. But this guy seems like he's a bit more prepared for something else. What what happened? I I, didn't, I was like I was saying I was like a block or two away. He could be a dude yeah. that's just scared, yeah, but of, I don't weird. know if he's supporting the moon or not. That like, that question so hasn't stuff, been that that asked that yet. And if it was asked, it definitely wasn't uh, vocalized in the stream at the very least. I might have to hop on Twitch real quick and see if I can re rewind this shit. I'm in the military and I don't have like no helmet or like fucking spike baton <laughs> or some, you know like some fucking combat helmet. All that guy's in my uniform, but this guy isn't military. Which, by the way, if he was, if he was in the military, it is <laughs> against the uh, the UCMJ to be out there protesting while in uniform. That's how you know this guy is not a part of the military. This is just something that he's. he's doing. So you're on the lefter side, the uh, Black Lives Matter, and you're on the righter side, the um, righter in as, as in left and right, not correct, um, as in all lives matter. And only this um, statement, Black Lives Matter, is be allowed to be said right now. And, and there's two different perspectives here. So you're coming into this with the belief that there's systemic racism, that uh, white people in police departments are targeting and this side, the conservative right side, doesn't... Take okay, yeah, this guy is definitely so it's not full like on against the movement. He is saying that <laughs> there is no systemic he racism. He's an all-lives matter he type dude. That is, see, this feeds into the narrative of what I've been saying. This guy is a pussy. That's why he's kitted out so much. You know, all the people who support the movement, you know, the badasses, they're just out there in their normal clothes. Maybe a mask, maybe a hard hat that they found scrounging around the house. This guy came prepared with, you know, fully kitted out military gear that who knows how much he spent on. Looks like he has on a vest. Looks like he ha has, like, a fucking weapon. You know, he's looking for something to happen. 11. Oh. You like these? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I just <laughs> want to finish my thoughts that I was giving for the stream. <laughs> Basically, I was waiting for So what's for this guy to, doing? He's, just he's literally just some dude just saying, like, he's an all eyes matter type guy. That's what he is. And he said that he's kitted out like this because he doesn't want to be targeted and, and assaulted, essentially. And that's why he, he brought a weapon. That's why he's in fucking combat gear and everything. He's not affiliated with the military, there, as far as I can tell. Is he there to tell. defend buildings? I don't know. Why is he there? It, it, that, that's the whole point. Aaron, that, that's, that's what I'm he just to wanted to use all his gear that was that's been exactly. away for that, how many months? That's what I've been years. saying. That's what oh, I've been this saying. This is what you've been saying. They're just weekend warriors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Yeah. It looks like he's a dude looking for for, for trouble. Hello, baby. That's America. Yeah, I wake you. I. What do you want to know? I don't, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm speaking. I'm not trying to get an answer from you. I'm just saying that. Yeah, other, he, he a bunch is of literally just here. What? Basically, it seems like he's a guy that's here well, that's just what I'm to oppose. To say. I, I just, I just, I want movement. to get this out there to, to no. where, you know, it's on the internet right now. And people, he doesn't. Think that, you know, look at, then, uh, look at the shit. Sure. They'll find it out if it's true. Who? Could, why is he? That, that looks like him. Who? What is he showing? If he, if he's saying, if his whole stance is, oh, I'm prior military and all eyes matter. I don't know what. Because one thing he said, one thing he said was, uh, there is no color in the military. It, which, as someone in the military, <laughs> there definitely is. There definitely good is. It's a good, you know, it's a funny point. The irony. This seems, yeah, you know, this definitely seems like one of those guys. Oh, oh, I've never seen racism, so it doesn't exist. You know, that that's what this guy seems like. He he is just some dude who is just out here looking looking for a problem. He wants to What is going assist. on? <laughs> I don't know, Aaron. I don't know. He just seems like a dude he wants to look for trouble and oppose the movement. Cause 
heard this guy's uh, Villain Phoenix's uh, stream, Homeboy said that he doesn't believe that there is systemic racism or anything. You know, that's the side he's on. It's not a so side. That's this a, fat that's ass a propaganda. Yeah. So per this fat ass's <laughs> stance, come on. He thinks <laughs> the system. He Biden. thinks what's happening. He thinks the system is fine the way it is. You know, that's why he's yeah. a fat fucking asshole. I was gonna say, do you think? Bitch. Does he say? Does he say? <laughs> there's no race in the military, just like there's no to uh, shape in shape soldiers in the military. There's a joke there. You worked on it. It's funny. Oh, I, I just. Alright, there's enough on this shit. You come back. You about to go? I'll to use the it. Fun <laughs> zone. Don't get yourself riled up. Negative video caught off history, negative interactive in the school. Period. Because while it's going up, officer cookies. Public servants, serve the public. So serve the public. Period. That's it. That's all I got. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 Ye
if they would have had it, who knows what would have happened. It's it's complicated, though. I don't know. It's yeah. super quagmire. That's I, why it's, that's why I, I definitely cool think the whole notion of, excuse me, no leaders comes from the fact of, you know, this from the civil rights movement. Yeah. All those leaders are dead. Like they were killed. They were murdered. They were assassinated. Yeah. So no one wants to be like, yeah, I'll put that target on my back and know that, you know, maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow, but at some point, there's going to be some sniper, you know, who's going to pull a bullet through my brain. You know, I don't think anyone wants to, you know, have to live with that yet. I don't know if there's someone in the wings somewhere, you know, somewhere in the country who's like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm grassroots leading, uh, I'm like, I'm going to get them going. But as far as I've seen, I've seen no real leader who's like, yeah, you know, you want to blame someone, blame me. You want to ask someone what to do, ask me type shit. Yeah, it's one of those where because of that, the problem becomes you don't have a, a malleable, always changing person as the leader. You have, an, a, you have a cold, hard ideology as your leader. And that's where things in humanity usually go awry. Yeah. That's where the religion yeah. evil doctrine comes in, is is because of that. Uh, like maybe the Hitler fascist thing was more of a charismatic leader. Stalin was more of a. Well, that's what they say. That's they, they say Hitler was a super charismatic. Like, they they yeah. said they loved his speeches and everything. Yeah. And that, he he was so good at it, and that's why they were like, yeah, y'all, yeah, fuck the Jews. I'll, I'll I'll gas them for you <laughs> for your weight off, buddy. You know, I'll, I'll dig a mass grave for you, and I'm like, sure, we'll try and conquer the world. Someone's gonna conquer. <laughs> You can go talk about breeders. Hitler was definitely a, like the breeder type dude. Like we gotta have more blue eyed blonde haired baby babies. That that was definitely a dude. That's Apparently, a this is something that I learned a while ago that children were sent to these like essentially re education camps, and girls would come back uh, either pregnant or wanting to get pregnant just to have you know like the Aryan race child. Like that's all they wanted to do. Like that that's how that's what they were taught. Like, hey, your purpose is to be a baby factory. Whoa. You know? I have a joke, but I ain't gonna... uh, go ahead and say it. You you wanna bring light to it, then go ahead and say it. I was gonna say in like an unilluminated world that is what's happening anyways. And uh, got all of our neighbors, family members, friends, or in an unfree world, and that's what's happening anyways. Because you're supposed to see it as in the gears of capitalism. The workers' jobs, as you can envision in, in the structure, they day in and day life, is that day in and day in, and then they die, creating another kid to do another job, and and, and so and forth and so forth, never really doing anything or changing the system or or molding the system or, or anything. It's just that's it. So in the same mm -hmm. way, it's still that anyways. It's just factories, baby factories. So you're saying no one should have kids and we just let the whole human race just no, die that's not what I'm saying. I say we change the world, make it better. <laughs> Got a fucking dance party going on in Seattle. Is there audio? There was. No. Uh, there was just like drums and shit going on, but now he's woke us, switched it over to... What it seems like some police guy in interviews or writing a ticket, probably arresting somebody. You know, hashtag all countries matters trending. Oh, I like that. I can get behind that. I know, that's what should be the counter when they say all lives matter. Then you say, so all countries matter. And then they go, oh, got him. Yeah, they're like, no, I hate. I hate Israel and the Palestine. No, they you know, love I Israel. Hate them all. They hate Israel. Yeah, they, they, they hate the Palestinians. Uh, it's like I hate China. Or like they're like, you know, whoa, like, we you should hate China. China. Fuck China. Also, uh, yeah, they're like, yeah, I love China. Yeah, did love you see China. Jimmy Dore uploaded? He had uh, the China apologizer on again. I didn't watch it, but no, I, saw, I, I read the comments though, and uh, people were saying that shitting on that guy. But he also had Dylan Radigan on to talk about China, so. I figured Dylan's usually better on China, so. Man, I, I don't understand. Jimmy Dore needs to, like, learn about China real quick. It's, like, it's not complicated. They're literally in the final stages of, of 1984. <laughs> like, I mean, they're literally yeah. in the final stages. Like, 
Like we're we're slightly behind, but we're on the same path. It's it's the U.S. corporations that help them also. You know, it's yeah. like, it's not like total, like every company is all Chinese companies. No, there's some crossover in China companies, also like TikTok apparently. Like they come over to America too, for to gain information and shit. Like I don't want none of these cunts having information on us. I mean, they gave us a virus, you know. And <laughs> We give them more information in return with TikTok. It's like, oh, got them. <laughs> right? Did you See, hear about that? <laughs> Yo, about fucking TikTok being like a Chinese spy shit. Yeah, I knew, yeah. like we all knew that like months ago, but mm. something apparently happened again, and like people are deleting it. Anonymous was hella anti it, and so I don't know. I don't. I'd ever had it. So I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> My joke is, it's like, does it matter? It's like, their own country spying on you, too. It's like, they all spying on me. Yeah, well, they don't want China to have all that shit, just the U.S. government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm okay I'm I'm with the U.S. government spying on but them Chinese dudes, nah. Mm -hmm. Once China wants to get in the action, uh-oh. <laughs> skimming through. I'm just eating this pizza too. Uh, um, I finished the slice. Oof. The I'm slice at the, 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 I'm at the part you. where Teeb's gaming is a big turnout in Portland. I mean, it is like so mostly white people. That's what I heard Portland's a lot of white, high white population. I'm really starting to lean towards wanting to move there, man. In Portland? Yeah, man, maybe not not Portland, but like, you know, a city in our way or something, but, but man. Well, the, the way you phrased that was kind of weird. It's like, I heard it's mostly white people. I want to move there. You know? <laughs> the uh, way you phrased that was kind of no, weird. No, but I, I actually look at it more like white people are more malleable than any other race because their cultures aren't as steadfast or ideologue. Like, I'm, you know, I've been in, I'm in right wing area. I was in the hood. I was in diverse cities. I was in the, the, uh, I lived, when I was in the one place, I lived basically on the outskirts of the shopping area that I walked places. Like, it was all shopping for, like, you know, a mile stretch. It's just all shopping. It's mad, it was, you know, moderate size. Decent size. So, I mean, I've been in, in multiple, I've been in, you know, not every diverse area, but I've been in a lot of diversity. And so that's why I was like, oh, white people, I feel like I could do some shit there. I don't know what, but I, could, I just meant like that. I could just do something. I was like, I could. I don't know. No, yeah, it's cause the way the way you said that, I was just like, huh? I was like, oh, that was kind of sus. There's a red flag, red flag right there. Well, that's what I learned about it was that there was a lot of white people. So I was just like, I don't know. It's something. I mean, because all the other reasons, it's progressive. It's got, uh, you know, good, good, good. It's got a living wage. Yeah, the politics in the area is on the up and up. You know, legalized. Uh, rec oh, V mask. Yes, V mask in Portland. Uh, you know, just guys wearing V masks and it, you know, that's pretty good. You <laughs> make the snow. I mean, I put the snowhawks in Portland when they were just playing Madden. Yeah, they got the X in one of the abbreviations. Like, I could. Like, what most cities other than that have X's? Like, not a lot. Oh, no. uh, I, I mean, I guess I can. I sort of get what you're saying because I like living in places where there's a lot of black people because I, I feel like that's my culture. No, I don't care that it's white. Right. That was just something. I don't know, it was just something. Like, I, I feel I definitely feel know. safer in like, an all black neighborhood than I do an all white one. I feel like you're from an all, all white one, like I'm getting looked at. Like I got got a target on my back. I feel like any day now some dude gonna sneak over and put a bag over my head. See, I never felt like that in the hood, but I mean that's because my race relations are better than white people's race relations with black or well yeah. <laughs> I meant to say that joke a different way, but whatever. Yeah, and I, I was robbed twice by black guys. So yeah. I didn't like it wasn't I was like I said I was never scared for my life. I was a little freaked out by the first time, but by the second time I was like, ah, oh, okay. You know, I, wasn't, like, I never took any hostility for it personally. <laughs> I was Think? 
I don't know. That's why I said I was like, I don't like, I'm like, there's a game that's been going along well before me. I didn't even see me take a fucking clutch my pearls. Oh God, I can't believe this happens. Like, yeah, this shit happens. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> we live in a fucked up world. Like, I don't know. You know me. I don't. I don't. You know, I come from the Socrates principle. I don't blame people for their for being fucked up. I blame the world that created them. You know? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that's. I think that's the. I mean. I mean, it's. I mean, it's true. You know. So what is climbing on this Portland earlier? I don't know if it's not there anymore. They got all the lasers on it. Maybe it's not even climbing. They're just. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. There's something's going on in Portland where they gotta. Fucking blur it out. I don't know what's happening. I well, y the real thing also was the guy that said that doesn't see race in in the army. Like you should have pointed out the thing happened. Well, I mean, I guess it's not race; it's gender. But I mean, you know, it's still this. I don't care what anybody's race, gender. Like they're all like it, ways it, to divide it, yeah. people because women are inherent. Because it's like women are naturally, you know, skinnier, lighter, uh, not as much muscle mass, all that other shit, not as aggressive more likely to be attacked, all that type of logical, statistical facts. Then minorities, yeah. same shit factors in from discrimination and all that. You know, all the, it's all facts, like... And, yeah, like, people uh, people that yeah, act like those aren't whenever, facts are just like, what? Yeah, whenever people, like, you know, whenever I was younger and people, like, would say, oh, I don't see color, it, like, back then when I was dumber, uh -huh. it, it was just like, oh, like, this guy doesn't... Yeah, don't trust you know, that. Yeah, you know, yeah, he sees us all the same, but now I... Like that. I yeah, now it's like, no, you gotta see the difference. Like, you gotta notice what, like, how people are treated. Like, you can't be like, oh, you know, I don't see color. Like, I don't see gender. Like, I would say, you know, like, you gotta recognize the, the difference and the, the issues that come, that come with each fucking, uh, gender, sex, fucking color under the sun, you know? I see it as more like the God's Eye type of view, where that, like, I don't see the color as like a, a bad thing. I see it as like a defining characteristic of who you are. Like, hey, your character, skin deflections, this, I mentally take note, you look different. Like, not like different in a way that like, I mean like if it's an negative. orange guy showed up, we t we'd call him different. If a purple guy showed up, we'd be like, hey, it's the purple oh, you guy. Trump? Like, yeah, if an orange guy showed yeah, up, what so do you mean? I, I don't Everybody see, loved them. Everybody like, I don't, loved you, them like, I don't, I, that's what I mean, like the right winger is like, oh, PC culture. It's like, yeah, PC culture's stupid. Like, stop trying, like, like, no, uh, like, if it's just a describing word, sure, but it wants you out a derogatory context to it, or, or implication, or um, whatever the word is. Like, that's yeah, the yeah, issue. Okay. That's yeah, the so, issue. Yeah, I, I Not had describing. That, I had conversation recently. You know? Recently, uh, yeah. one of my friends asked me, like, is it weird to say, uh, like, is, is saying, oh, black people, is that derogatory? And I was like, are you saying a derogatory yeah, good, man? Yeah, that's what I mean. It depends, like. You know, it was like, how yeah. are you using it? Are you being like, oh, I hate black people? Then it's like, then if you say it like that, then no. Or you'd be like, man, I can't believe the shit black people have to go through. Then that's completely different, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's why I said, I, like, I told you, like, weeks ago. I was like, I'm done with African American. I'm just calling them black. Like, fuck this shit. Like, like I can explain yeah, we, we why I not, say that. Like, we definitely not treat like Americans. That's for damn sure. No, I just think that's, yeah, I think, no, I just think it's like a contradiction. You're African and Americans, like. But you guys weren't considered that when you first came here, so like that's a hypocritical <laughs> phrase. So that's why I don't really like that because I think it's a bullshit lie. Yeah. So I just like, hey, their skin's is darker. Like, I, the, I that's what's that's... been known. Like, black people are I... are cool with the fact that cause that's less than the N word. So I think they're cool with that in general. That's a win. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, like man. You no, know, we call them white people. We're like everybody's cool with gringo, and and I like the cracker. Ritz <laughs> is literally think, Ritz. I don't think I don't think people are cool with gringo. I don't. I gotta ask my Mexican friend. I love ask Bravo. That's not. That's what, what that's, is what is that what is gringo? Is kid? Is that is that Spanish? I is that Mexico? I don't. I don't know. I gotta look that up. These fucking like, gringos. We <laughs> don't know if that's a slang or not. I don't know. It's funny though. I love. Okay. It. Okay. Here, I, I looked it up. In Spanish-speaking countries, in context, chiefly in the Americas, a person 
especially an American who is not Hispanic or Latino. So it's not yeah, even for it is gringo. It's what they call other people. I love <laughs> it. I love it. I absolutely like, love it. So like you don't look at a, a Hispanic person and call them gringo. Like they call you gringo. Love it. I'm gonna call them gringo. call everybody gringos. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh man this shit's stupid <laughs> I told you though all this race shit's stupid anyway so that's what makes it really funny anyways uh, cause if you don't laugh about it then it's just genocide you know come on man Are you gonna... <laughs> and I'm, I think I'm finna move to my whole my whole Harriet Tubman shit I'm finna stop smiling like ain't shit funny right now so, man. I might get on that shit I want to know if that, I got to read up more about her and see, like, was that like a conscious thing where she's like, nah, I'm going to frown in this photo because well, they, shit that's funny. what they did though back in the day. They were smiling wasn't a thing. Though, what's the other thing? Okay, I guess when I When do you see anybody old timey to in a, in, a, in a taken picture smiling? Never. I don't know. Except I, Obama was smiling. But I think, other than like, seriously, other than like Obama, I wonder, let me, let's go look at Bush. Oh, oh actually, presidents. you know, Okay, so I, I I did read in this one article. That's what I, that I read. Basically, the whenever pictures came out, they were thought of as essentially portraits, just taken faster. And portraits were essential were used for like nobility and shit, and supposed to like show honor. And that's why they didn't they didn't smile in portraits. Yeah. So when pictures came out, people treated them like portraits so and smile on them. But I I just want to know, you know, I just want to know more about Harriet Tubman, man. I guess. So, I don't care about that. Um, yeah, because you can see nobody smiles. Nobody's, like, seriously smiling. A in this picture of the presidents that they chose. Jeez, wow, they don't... There's a smirk on Hoover. <laughs> Ever so slight. But I'm serious, like... Roosevelt's not smiling. Truman's kind of smiling. Nick Eisenhower's smiling. JFK's happy as fuck. Uh, good for JFK. It's the homie. Uh, LBJ's looking like an asshole bird guy. Nixon's a cunt. It doesn't matter. Uh, He's a crook. Ford's kind of smiling. Carter looks confused, which makes sense. Reagan looks like an asshole. He's smiling. Bush looks like a dumb asshole. He's smiling. Which, which Bush? Clinton looks like a conniving asshole. Bush looks like a dumbass, which he is. He's smiling. Bush, Obama, uh, he's looking like he just sold the country out, uh, which he did. And then Trump literally has a shitting grin on his face. Yeah, literally, they don't start smiling until Truman. I, I can't tell it's a shadow. Eisenhower's a little weird. So really, it's JFK to really add the real smile, which is makes sense. And FDR, man, his picture, like, that man went through hell. <laughs> man. It's let the like, country do wars, man. I was that gonna say, together. I we watched that doc. I don't know how FDR is not considered a top tier president. He literally died in office, tried to make deals with Stalin to try to help people. Like he did, like goddamn everything. He literally sacrificed for the country. He did so much <laughs> economically. He shifted our economy to a war economy for a legit war. And did it nearly effortlessly because he rallied everybody together. Like, no, that could never... We couldn't rally together around each other for the pandemic. But FDR did oh, it for... That, like, that is completely true. Like, we couldn't figure out what to do for the pandemic. But but apparently when FDR was around, he was like, all right, y'all. It's, it's time to come throw these hands. And everybody was kind of like, yep, you right, you right. Technically, it's easier to do that because of war. But still, like, it happened. But doing it for the economy is, is a little I mean, harder, say, though. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see we're at war with the virus, you got to beat the yeah. virus, you know? If yeah, you I know, that's why like they that. tried that rhetoric for, like, war on drugs and shit, too. Oh, everybody's on deck because we're at war on this shit show. Propaganda. <sighs> All right, I'm about caught up, actually, so I'm about to switch to the thing. Man. I don't know, I still tell you. I guess it'd be like a secretly sworn in type of thing, but I still said, man, like, hip hop's impact on me, man, for like a time like this, like, helped a lot. I'm telling you, bro, there was, you don't understand. There was a song 
where it was like it's up to the hip hop community to save the world. I forget what song it was though. No, it's well, I mean, don't sell the homies in the rock out like you know, like Tag fucks with them too, and they fuck with like you know, rock people. A good chunk of the rock musicians are pretty legit people too. I mean, you know, Rage Against the Machine, like, <laughs> yeah. like and uh. There was, uh, you know, did you hear Born to that shit? They they not really rage against. This. It's like I'm raging against my mom, <laughs> you know. They yeah. always kind of do. You know, System of yeah. Down was based with Mortal Technique. Like they were just, ins- their shit's insane. Wake up! So I think I know. <laughs> it was, was that System of the Down? Was like wake up. It was like or Angel. I cry when angels die or some something. Yeah. Was that their song? Well, you should listen to Ariel's, but you should listen to all the albums. They, re- they literally had an album called. Steal this album because there was um I, was like, I can't remember who it was it was a revolutionary anarchist type of dude but he had a book called Steal This Book in like the seventies like they were legit like the system was like dude surges the shit um did you I uh, I saw an article on the Born in the USA song uh did you know that. I think it's Bruce Springsteen. No. Like it's like anti USA. <laughs> People think it's a pro USA song. It's like one of those. Oh, uh, because the lyrics are fun of people too dumb to. The to verses dissect it. they're short, but they're like anti nom, anti war. Uh, just, just America's a fucked up country. It was written kind of like after nom, and uh, to to talk kind of about that era, because it was like in '82 it came out. It said, uh, and I listened to it today. And I read the lyrics of it before, and I was like, yeah, pretty cool. (laughs) Here, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Alright. So if we, so it's Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. It came out in uh, 82. Like, the first verse goes, uh, uh, born down in a dead man's town. The first kick I took was when I hit the ground. Uh, you end up like a dog that's been beat too much till you spend half your life just covering it. Like, literally, the first verse isn't so optimistic. Uh, <laughs> verse two. Uh, got in a little, little hometown jam, so they put my, put a rifle in my hand. That was, I think it was the reference to the draft. Yeah, uh, they, they get arrested or you something like that. Sent off, yeah, sent me I, off to a yeah, foreign yeah. land to go and kill the yellow man. Uh, not pro yeah, war. That's, that's, I mean, but you can, I can definitely see how dumbass you think. Like, yeah, send me off to the foreign land to kill the yellow <laughs> man. I, yeah, I can definitely see dumbasses feeling like, oh, that's pro war, right? You know? So, yeah, I, I love when I was drafted. Or if I, there was a draft today, they would have to draft me. I go to recruit off and I will sign right up. Then he shits on capitalism. The, the third verse, he goes, "Come back home to the refinery." It's so like the whole refinery, I believe. Hiring yeah. man says, "Quote, son, if it was up to me, meaning like he ain't get the job, but the guy yeah, hired him was job. like, oh, I'd hire you, but you know, it ain't up to me." Uh, like complete problem with the system. Um, second and then second, there's four bars per verse, uh, and then. <laughs> And then he goes, went down to see my VA man, you know, the Veteran Affairs. Yeah, he said, veteran, quote, yeah. son, don't you understand? Uh, so it even mentions the VA and the issues that veterans have. Verse 4, had a brother at uh, Kisan, which was a Vietnam battle uh, that did not pit the U.S. forces against the Viet Cong. Instead, they fought the North Vietnamese <laughs> Army. The U.S. won, but withdrew a few months later. The battle is a stand-in for the fertility of the war, entire war effort. Uh, the verse goes, I had a brother at uh, Ki San fighting off the Viet Cong. Uh, they're still there. He's all gone. Uh, point is, like, the Vietnam people are still there in that area. And the guy died basically died yeah. for no reason. <laughs> uh, and then the last part of that verse is, He had a woman he loved in Saigon. It's weird hearing about, like, all the white people that, like, had chicks in Vietnam, by the way. It's just one of the weirdest things to hear about. <laughs> one of the weirdest, <laughs> right? No? You're talking about, like, like, they would go to Vietnam and follow with Vietnamese women? Yeah, ain't that weird? Like, they going around just shooting up Vietnamese people. 
and been napalming and shit left and right, just attacking the goddamn planet right there and anything that lives on it. And meanwhile, they see a hot, they see a yeah. hot girl, and it's like, man, I love me. So yeah, much. it really shows you the worst of man. <laughs> Corny chumps everything in. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. Uh, bless for after a little guy got a picture of him in her arms now. Uh, actually, the real sad part is literally the point is is it's a picture in her arms and not mm. him in her arms, which is like, yeah. This is a really good lyrics. Like, it's really short, real, but god damn, are they good? This is why it's like people have been pointing out. It's like the war with the police state in the country isn't like just new. It's just it's like Bruce Springsteen was shitting on him back in the eighties. Like damn. Uh, in the verse five, down in the shadow of the penitentiary, uh, out by the gas fires of the ref. Oh, Jesus. So the point is, shadow. You mentioned the penitentiary in a song about America. Jeez, this song's really good. Uh, out by the gas fires of the refinery, so mentioned in oil, the penitentiary, in a song about America. And the last two bars is, I'm ten years burning down the road, nowhere to run, ain't got nowhere to go. And then, it, you know, the outro goes, born in the USA. I was born in the USA. Anyway. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> good song? Best song? Yeah, it sounds good. I'll, I'll book it. Like, yeah, yeah, get out of spin today. It's literally the 4th of July. Uh, but that's what I mean. That's why I'd be like... I mean, it ain't just up to hip-hop, but hip-hop's badass because of it. But, like, other genres, are sh they shit on the state, too. <laughs> uh, no, my joke was always about hip-hop, though. It was on some other shit. Because it's literally the birth, you know, that and chill-up are, like, completely, like, the soul sacrifice phoenix of, like, of jazz. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh Crack you. Oh. Anyways, let's just see here. We got more graffiti in Portland. Oh, he's putting the pig over there. We got a little setup. A little oink, oink. What do you think of that pig? Oh, those cops everywhere? Yeah, I know. And pigs everywhere. <laughs> Yellow helmet. All right. Well, we got like ten. Not ten. We got about five to seven minutes. Unless anything happens, this will be it for tonight. Uh, unless anything happens by the time I upload it, get it ready and shit. Uh, you got any final things? Nah, uh, that that segment kind of where you left kind of gave me a chance to say a lot of what I want. <laughs> but shit on that guy. I'm good. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, man. I really did. Where I was like, I don't know what this guy's about. And then once I heard what it was, I was like, oh yeah, uh, he's just a pussy looking for trouble and who got to carry a weapon because he's, you see he's trying to start in something. Seattle? Yeah, see, I told you, dance party in Seattle. You, you is, was, <laughs> was that one for the good guys? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, all, 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 all them, all them ladies. That's definitely one of the good guys right there. <laughs> that chick that was dancing on the other chick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you're. I'm, I've been in clubs where that kind of shit's happened. I'm about to, you know. Bro, I watch music videos. Come on, man. Okay, so <laughs> I've, been, I've been, I've been there in real life. Bro, what's been happening, my guy? Man, I'd be on that corn. I mean, you know, I'd be saying shit like that. <laughs> so, so, sometimes, sometimes parties be weird. Uh, I've, I've been to parties where girls just start dancing with each other and dudes just start throwing money at them. And it's just like, they're not sure if there's just two girls that start dancing. It's like, yeah, I'll throw money at that, you know? It's a good investment. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care, dude. It's just like, I'm at the party, bro. I'm party. I'm here to have a good time. I'm just throwing money at, at, at bitches, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. T definitely one for the good guys right there. Well, alright, everybody. Um, happy July, the night of July 3rd. In the morning, of July 4th. Uh, some type of semblance of freedom being displayed in Portland, at least. Fucking fireworks going off and shit. Yeah, yeah, just having a dance party. Yeah, it's good to see. A lot of fireworks. Yeah, I see. God damn. That's dope. 
That, that's dope. I really like that. That they're gonna be like doing fireworks. They've been doing them for a while already. They dancing. They're turning up. Is that good? What are they doing? Are these real dancing? Uh, What's that guy like doing? Them. You saw him drop it low? I don't know how I feel about nice. that. Uh, I've seen some twerking, I've seen bitches doing backflips, I've seen people doing the jerk, two steps, <laughs> a couple things going on. You see the difference though, real quick? Do you see how geared up everybody is in Portland? And how like, just everybody looks normal in Seattle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome to war culture. Like, that's just really sad. Oh my God. Like all these motherfuckers, I mean, they look normal. Yeah, they're walking by, but like, everybody, a lot of these people dressed in black with hoods on <laughs> and, <laughs> and shit, and hats on, and and fucking bright and big ass backpack and skateboards on them, and they all see one of these people just dancing. <laughs> Look what they going against, Darren. They gotta get geared up. <laughs> you think the cops show up? Well, I don't think they show up. It's, it's a little late. I mean, it's not super late. But they haven't showed up yet, and they've been shooting off fireworks, and they didn't show up. They might be in the clear tonight, because it's a holiday. <laughs> Oh, yo, so for the Native Americans that got arrested, uh, nothing says America and freedom like waking up on the 4th of July in a jail cell for using the First Amendment. <laughs> 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 ah, that's how we're going to end it. Peace out.